हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर एडो स्टार यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर विजिटिंग अवर चैनल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स यू कैन ऑल्सो जॉइन अवर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड कमेंट सेक्शन ऑल राइट लेट्स गेट स्ट्रेट इन टू द वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज बी सी एस फोर नॉट टू इन दैट मॉड्यूल वन they lost the differences between risk and risk so let's study one by one so the first first comparison is it is cisc is complex instructions and it taking multiple clock cycle this is the complex instructions taking multiple clock cycles to execute the instruction risc is reduced instruction set computer for its full form and reduced means you all know it is a simple instruction simple instructions it takes it is a simple right so it takes single clock cycle next comparison is emphasis on hardware it only main fo main focuses on hardware emphasis on hardware and it is a complex instruction right so complexity in the micro program or processor since it is a complex complexity in micro programmer processor here emphasis on software and complexity is in the compiler and the third difference is it is a complex instruction instructions executed by micro programmer com micro processor okay my computer here sys is the complex instructions here instructions are executed by micro program or processor and risk reduced instruction it is simple so it is reduced instruction it makes easy to the compiler instructions executed by hardware here instructions are executed by hardware here instructions are executed by micro program or micro processor next two differences variable format instructions here in cisc the var uh, the instructions are in a variable format and single register set many instructions since it is a complex instruction so there will be a many instructions and here fixed because it is reduced so it is fixed format instruction and your multiple register will be present multiple register sets and few instruction because it's simple and next point is here uh, since it has many instruction it has many addressing modes
and since it is a simple and few instruction there will be few addressing modes and next conditional jump is usually based on statue resist sorry status resistor bit conditional jump is usually based on status resistor bit and again conditional here conditional jump can be based on bit or anywhere in the memory conditional jump can be based on a bit or any where on the memory and the last difference is memory reference is embedded in many instructions memory reference is embedded in many instructions and here memory reference is embedded in load store instructions there are seven differences we for if they has for six marks we can write seven and if there's four marks also we can write these points it's very simple also now let's continue to the second question that is microprocessor versus microcontroller this is also usually asked in the question papers uh, more often they last for five or six marks I will give you about uh, seven points. Okay, um, microprocessor are generally does not have RAM, ROM, and I/O pins, and microcontroller all in one. The processor will contain uh, RAM, ROM, and I/O pins all all in one only. Microprocessors generally does not have RAM, ROM and DIVO pins whereas in microcontroller is all in one processor with RAM, IO ports or pins all on the same chip and the second point is microprocessors usually uses its pins as a bus to interface to RAM room and peripheral devices hence the controlling bus is expandable at the broad level or word level microprocessor usually uses its pin as the bus to interface to RAM, ROM and peripheral devices because it does not have RAM, ROM and IO pins right so it uses the pins as a bus interface to RAM, ROM and peripheral devices hence the controlling bus is expandable at board level here controlling bus is internal controlling bus is internal and not available to the board level 
ओके कंट्रोलिंग बेस इज इंटरनल एंड डो नॉट है डो नॉट अवेलेबल टू द ब्रॉड लेवल नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स आर जनरली केपेबल ऑफ बीइंग बिल्ट इन टू बिगर जेन पर्पस जेन पर्पस में जनरल पर्पस एप्लीकेशन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर आर जनरली केपेबल ऑफ बीइंग बिल्ट इन टू बिगर जनरल पर्पस एप्लीकेशन सो वेर एज इन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यूजली यूज फॉर मोर डेडिकेटेड एप्लीकेशन यूजली यूज फॉर मोर डेडिकेटेड एप्लीकेशन यू आर फॉर बिल्ट इन टू बिगर जनरल पर्पज एप्लीकेशन यू आर यूज फॉर ओनली मोर डेडिकेटेड एप्लीकेशन एंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर जनरली डू नॉट हैव पवर सेविंग मोड पवर सेविंग सिस्टम दे डो नॉट हैव पवर सेविंग सिस्टम एंड माइक्रो प्रोसेसर हैव पवर सेविंग सिस्टम like uh, ideal ideal mode means constant one or power saving mode so overall it uses less power because it has a power it has power saving mode and next point is the overall cost of the system made with microprocessor are high cost of systems made with microprocessor are high because of the number of external components required microprocessor uh, external components are more so the cost is also high the which and all the systems made uh, from the microcontrol microprocessor uh, the cost is high because there is a more external components here microcontroller are made up of far cheaper than microprocessor a microcontroller is like a small chip okay made by far cheaper than microprocessor next point is processing speed of general microprocessor is above 1 gigahertz to सॉरी वन गीगा हर्ट्स ओनली ओके माइक्रो प्रोसेसर स्पीड ऑफ जनरल प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड इज वन गीगा हर्ट सो इट वर्क मच फास्टर दैन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर वर्क मच फास्टर दैन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड ऑफ द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज अबाउट एट megahertz less than microprocessor megahertz 8 megahertz to 50 megahertz and the last point is micro microprocessor are based on von neumann model and microcontroller are based on hadward howard aki Architecture where program memory and data memory are separate. Here program memory and uh, data data memory are stored in the same memory module. Thank you, students. Let's see you in the next video.